But I don't think it's winning bridge. I think that just by playing down the middle and not misleading your partner, that's good enough to win. And to, to me, psyching just makes no sense. But, but Mike Becker loves to psych, and he, he just can't be stopped. <laughs> and he had, he was playing with his wife Judy in this double knockout, and he had 10 9 4, 3 Lil, Jack 10 4, 2 Lil. And he was, he was the dealer, and he was not vulnerable against vulnerable. And to him, that's when you psych. He, it's, he can't help himself. He's not ball against ball. He feels like he has to psych. Okay? So he opened his hand, one heart. Now, I told you I'm not a psyker, so I, I'm not sure I understand the thinking behind one heart. Lead direction. Lead direction. Uh, maybe, I mean, I, I don't know. I might open one diamond or maybe one spade because I have four of those. and I, I don't know, but he, he probably knows what he's doing. He's, he's a veteran psyker. So he opened one heart. And I went past, and Judy did three hearts, limit raise, which probably wasn't such a bad thing to happen to him. It doesn't sound like he's going to get too tortured by his partner. And the next hand had like 20 points and did three no trump. And I went past, pass, and Judy doubled. She had 11 points, and her partner had opened the bidding. And I went all pass. Michael didn't want to run to four hearts. He knew he'd get doubled and go for some big number. So, uh, curiously enough, I don't know what any of you would lead. Michael had a heart thing. A diamond lead would have actually beaten this. His partner had like king fifth of diamond. A diamond lead would have beaten it. A spade lead would hold it to three. And the heart that he led held it to five. Uh, <laughs> so he was minus 1150, which is the score. And we were his teammates, and we came back to compare, and we read off plus 630. You know, we didn't think much of it, and he said, lose 11, and we weren't very happy, we didn't understand. Okay. But in spite of that, we were ahead by about 20 imps at halftime, and we went to play the second half, and we all said to him, especially his wife Judy, said, uh, Michael, don't psych, we're ahead by 20, we're going to probably win this match, no more psychs, please, you know. But he, he can't help himself, he just can't, okay? So this was the very first board of the second half. This was Judy's hand. This was his wife. Okay. This was Judy's hand on the first board of the second half, and Michael, her husband, was the dealer. And they were favorable vulnerability, and Michael opened the bidding one heart. And this was her responding hand. And she, how many points? Seven, 23 points. So, of course, she knew he was up to his old tricks again. And she didn't know what to do here. Okay, even though he you know, probably had the same kind of terrible hand, she still she has game in her own hand. She almost has slam in her own hand. So she couldn't pass. Okay, and she couldn't do anything intelligent like try to have a good auction because if she bid one spade or if she jump shifted to two spades, she was afraid he was just going to pass because he was going to have nothing. She didn't know what to do and she thought and thought and she was so upset. And so she just decided to be practical she bid four spades, which doesn't show this good a hand. Four spades is typically something like ace, king, eighth of spades and out or king, queen, jack, seventh of spades and a king. That's what a four spade response should show. It shouldn't show this much. It shouldn't show slam interest. So she bid four spades, and Michael now started thinking. And it was obvious to her now, oh my god, he's got an opening bid. Turns out Michael had the rest of the deck. He had like the ace of spades and the king queen jack of hearts and the king queen of clubs. He had a normal, he had a nice opening bid, in fact. But his partner had been four spades, which is supposed to be a sign, pretty much a sign off. So eventually he passed, and he put down his dummy, and they had the first 19 tricks. And, and we lost 11 M's again. So <laughs> th that's what I think about psyching. Um, it just can't win. Yeah. Huh? Yes? How often can he psych? Three? Well, you're really not supposed to psych twice in one session, but. And he, he only, he didn't, he only psyched for one time, so. 
Oh, I thought he does it all the time. Well, he likes to do it a lot, but he I don't think he does it a lot in one session. He does check the box on the card that says frequent. Mm -hmm. Yes? We can have a player in our club that strikes a lot, and we call the ACBL about it to make sure he can do it all he wants. All he wants? Well, yeah, I mean, no, there should be someone that wants a session, yeah. But, I, I, I don't... But isn't this also proof that he, you, your partner can't trust you? Uh, that's yeah. that's why I don't like the site because you, your partner is going to be wary. And look what happened on this deal. Yeah. 